Hi, everybody. Welcome to our daily devotion. This devotion is for Monday, the 10th of November. It's another beautiful morning here in north central Indiana, looking out over the freshly harvested fields. The leaves are mostly down. The sun is shining, and I understand it's going to be near 70 degrees today beautiful November day, and I'm glad to be up with you this morning to share a little of the joy of this day and this daily devotion. Our reading today comes from Psalm 63. I'm going to read just the first half of Psalm 63. Now, before I read, I, I want to mention that this psalm has a, a prescript that is a, a dedication or a notation at the beginning of it that was added uh, after the psalm was composed that gives a sense of when and where this psalm was written, when, where, and by whom. And so it says, a psalm of David, when he was in the wilderness of Judah. Listen to Psalm 63. O God, thou art my God, and I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee. My flesh faints for thee, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So, I have looked upon thee in the sanctuary, beholding thy power and glory, because thy steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise thee, so will I bless thee as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call upon thy name. One of the things that's really interesting about this poem is reference to the sanctuary where David, in his heart, in his spirit, looks upon God and worships and finds both peace and refreshment. Now, we might think that the sanctuary is the temple in Jerusalem, but of course it's not, because that temple was not constructed in the time of David. It was his son Solomon who was given the responsibility and privilege of building the temple. So what is this sanctuary that David is speaking of? Perhaps it is that movable tent in which the Ark of the Covenant was housed. But I like to think that because David was in the wilderness of Judah, that in fact, this sanctuary was a special place that he had, a place where he could go and find comfort and peace and refreshment where in his own way, through lifting up his hands in worship and blessing God with his lips, in his own way, in his own place, he could worship and be at peace. Where is your sanctuary? Do you have a special place where you go, where you find a kind of peace that perhaps you can't find elsewhere, where you feel perhaps a particular sense of serenity and quiet and comfort, where if we put it in religious language, you sense the presence of God. I can tell you I've got a few places like that. One is in the woods around my home here in Indiana. It's not a big woodland, but 
we have some, some beautiful rolling hills that are heavily wooded. And I like to go into the woods and to cut logs and stack firewood and clear out the area. There's just a sense of peace and serenity there for me. I also have a, a loop around the country roads, very quiet country roads. Sometimes I'll walk for five miles around my loop and not a single vehicle will pass me in any direction. I'll see no other human being out and about. It's serene, it's quiet. I also have a spot in my wood shop where I have a, a wood stove and reclining chair, old beat up thing. But sometimes I love to go out there and just sit. I'll have a, a cigar and a drink and just sit quietly by the wood stove, read from the Bible or just meditate. And there I'm able to feel the loving kindness, the steadfast love of God and feel surrounded and safe in God's presence. Where's your sanctuary? Where's the place where you can go and find that peace that passes all understanding, where you can rest and relax? Mine are all kind of solitary places. That's because I'm an introvert and solitary places is where my soul is refreshed. But where is yours today? I'd like you to think about that. And perhaps if you have an opportunity, take a little time and go to your sanctuary today. Look upon all the wonderful things that God has done. Praise God with your lips or with your heart. Lift up your hands or just lift up your mind into the presence of God to worship and be at peace. Let's pray. Oh God, we thank you for your steadfast love, your loving kindness, as it's called in some versions of the Bible. Thank you, our God, that you have so arranged our world that whether it's in a busy city, in a cafe, in an art studio, in our own living space, you have set aside for us places that are special. We know that you are everywhere present, fully and equally, but some places we are in a better place to sense your presence. Those are our sanctuaries and thank you for them, our God. Today, we ask that you will give us the time to guide us to our sanctuary, to be refreshed with your presence, like a cool drink of water in a dry and thirsty place. We ask you to bless us with this gift today. In Christ's name, Amen. Thank you for joining with me for this daily devotion today. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow for another of our daily devotions. And as always, may God bless you until then.